The family of 32-year-old Christian Rios is planning his funeral tonight after he was shot at a South Lubbock County game room last week. Rios is just one of four victims that authorities say were shot by 49-year-old Jamie Pruitt, who will now be charged with murder. The topic of regulating game rooms was back on the agenda for Lubbock County Commissioners today. KLBK's Jaxie Pigeon was there as leaders tried to decide how to move forward with addressing the issue, but they first heard from members of our community. That's right. Several people spoke for and against the proposed game room ordinance this afternoon. It seems like the vast majority of those people are on the same page that something needs to be done about these game rooms. But these regulations in that proposed ordinance were just not yet something all of them could completely stand behind. We're seeing drug trafficking, we're seeing money laundering. Um, they've just become absolute hubs for criminal activity and something needs to be done. I'm just totally against it. These are illegal gambling places and it's a major problem. And, you know, crime is running amok. Three of the four victims of last week's shootings took place at a game room in South Lubbock. Just four hours before the shooting spree, Lubbock County commissioners had voted to table further discussions on establishing game room regulations until September. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to table carries five to zero. Some of the regulations in the proposed game room ordinance included reducing hours of operations, Location must be at least 1,000 feet away from residential areas, only allowing one permit per 30,000 county residents, and implementing a $10,000 fine for violators, just to name a few. After the shootings that left one dead, Precinct 2 Commissioner Jason Corley announced he would put the item back on the court's work session agenda for Tuesday afternoon. Several folks spoke during the public comment portion of the meeting. This is not a, somebody else will take care of it. This is an all-hands matter. And I hope that you would say so to all of those to whom you come in contact, including especially your constituents. I strongly believe that we need to monitor what's going on. We cannot allow nor afford for someone else to come and run our city. We are the city leaders. We need to act on this now. Precinct 4 Constable Tony Jackson shared his perspective on the matter. Main thing I want to say is to exercise patience on this deal. I don't see why a decision has to be made today. In light of what happened last Monday, the incident that happened, I think motions may be a little bit high. And I like to see laws passed whenever everybody's taking a lot of logical steps. After public comment, the commissioners voted to take the proposed game room regulation ordinance off the table. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Aye. Motion fails two to three. Lubbock County Prosecutor Neil Burt says the extra time will give his office the chance to work with others to create a workable set of regulations. We need some additional time to uh, vet everything that goes into a, a possible set of regulations. Uh, we want to have a very a uh, rigid set of guidelines that hopefully in and of themselves would would address some of the issues that we heard uh, some of the local citizens talking about here today. And Burt says his office, the district attorney's office, and the sheriff's office do not take this issue lightly. I think we're all wanting the same thing. We don't want to see the continuation of crime, a rise in crime in Lubbock County. We want to figure out the best way to address that working within the confines of, of the law that we're, we're all required to follow. The ordinance will be discussed again on September 11th, which is also the same time the court will vote on the county's budget.